banded hammer curl. So the first thing I do with this is I lay my band down so it's nice and flat. Then I stand on it nice and even. I grab the band, okay, thumbs facing up. Now I can adjust my resistance here by grabbing higher on the band, so this will be lighter, or I can choke down on it to make it heavier, okay? The rule, I'm gonna come a little closer. The rule with this is you want to take your elbow and you wanna dig them into your side. So you're pulling your elbows into your sides, the shoulders down. So depress the scaps, elbows in. We're gonna keep the elbow right where it is, and we're gonna take the thumb and bring it to the front of the shoulder. Down, forward, down, forward. If you're watching from the front, I'm nice and square. I'm not swooping my hand in, okay? That takes it, see how I'm going inward? You don't want that. You wanna come straight up. That's how we're gonna get that bicep working, straight up. And now fun fact, a hammer curl goes this way and it works um, the head of your bicep. When you do a bicep curl, that is when you supinate your hand. So notice my bicep muscle, when you supinate, see how it changes? And it's just purely from rotating the hand, okay? So we're not doing the rotation right now. We're just doing the hammer curl to build down here in, in these muscle, uh, these tendons and ligaments. And this is to counterbalance all the pulling we're doing, okay? So when we pull a lot, we kind of can get the tight tendonitis, achy feeling in our elbow. Doing banded hammer curls really helps balance that out. So do not skip those.